health alert tonight. The CDC says it is testing several people in the U.S. for coronavirus. Now, that virus has now killed 17 people that we know of and sickened more than 500 others, most of them in China. Also new tonight, Chinese state media says the city of Wuhan shutting down outward flights and trains as the number of cases rise. The virus was first detected there in December. The strain has been linked to a market in the city that's selling seafood and live animals. Cases have also been reported in South Korea, Thailand, and Japan. Now, the CDC is prompting airports in several major cities to implement health screenings for some of their international travelers. And here at home, no health screenings are in place at RD, in, RDU International at this point. We're looking at a live picture of the airport. Of course, we'll be checking with the airport for any updates. CBS 17's Jermise Price spent the day getting answers at RDU to find out if this will eventually impact passengers there. Suitcases are rolling and passengers are trying to make it through security checkpoint. I'm traveling to Atlanta, Georgia. The CDC is reporting the first U.S. case of the deadly coronavirus. Health officials confirm the patient who lives in Washington did not arrive on a direct flight from China, which could have exposed others to the illness. I'm always concerned about all these viruses that are going around. I've gotten all the shots known to man to protect myself, and that's all I can do. But in this case, there are no vaccines for this virus that causes a pneumonia-like illness and can be spread from person to person. But the CDC is working with airports to add some protection. They're implementing enhanced health screenings at five airports for passengers coming from China who appear to be sick. As it is now, RDU will not conduct those health screenings that we're seeing at airports across the country. And that's because there are no direct flights from China to Raleigh. But some passengers say, let's play it safe and consider those screenings anyway. I think that all the airports should consider it, no matter how small they are because there are people that have traveled to other countries that come through this airport or live in Raleigh. Do whatever's necessary, you know, take whatever precautions they uh, are equipped to do successfully. While there's a heightened awareness about this virus, it's not slowing things down. When if it happens, then it happens, and we'll, we'll deal with it then. But right now, I've got to do a job, and I fly and travel, and still got to do that. And we'll continue to follow developments and just stay with CBS 17 on air and online and on our CBS 17 app for updates on the coronavirus and any potential impacts right here in the Triangle.